Hi, I'm David Beasley, Executive Director of the United Nations World Food Program, and it is a pleasure to be part of the Berlin Climate and Security Conference. Even before COVID-19 virus turned our world upside down, we were facing a perfect storm already with unprecedented humanitarian needs in 2020. Today, we're not only dealing with a global health crisis, but we're also facing a hunger pandemic. 135 million people are already marching toward the brink of starvation. Over half of these people are being pushed to the brink by conflict, while 34 million live in countries where extreme weather is the main culprit. And economic shocks accounts for the rest. But COVID-19 is forcing many more vulnerable communities and families to the edge. WFP projections suggest that 265 million people will be acutely food insecure by the end of this year. We have to act, and we have to act now to stop this crisis becoming a humanitarian catastrophe. It's all hands on deck, literally, as we speak. And the solution lies in coordinated action to tackle all the main drivers of hunger working together, which includes building resilience to climate change. In the field, we see every day how climate change leads to instability and social tension. Take Afghanistan, for example, where communities are forced to, com to compete over scarce water sources and fertile land just to survive. If we allow this to continue, the consequences could be severe. Worldwide, by 2050, the number of people forced to migrate because of the changing climate, extreme weather shocks, could very well reach 140 million people. That's why WFP is working with governments around the world to help communities adapt and become more resilient as the climate changes. Together, we restore degraded land and build irrigation wells, holding ponds and water reservoirs to protect agricultural livelihoods. We protect the most vulnerable with safety nets. For example, in the Sahel region of Western Africa, where more than one million people are being supported with climate risk insurance. And we work with weather forecasts and early warning systems so countries can act before climate disasters happen. For example, in Bangladesh. Uh, that's where we use advanced warning system, for example, of the monsoon floods that are about to hit. And that ensures that we can transfer cash to families before they hit. And there's still much more to do to help vulnerable communities around the world adapt to climate extremes and weather shocks. But the support of governments such as Germany allows WFP to save lives and change lives every day. Together we can. Thank you.